Hello everyone, welcome in the online math session. I'm Rama, your math teacher, and today our lesson is about tens and ones. First thing I want to remind you about our previous lesson. What did we take yesterday? I will remind you. If I have a group of cubes, like let's say something like this. And I told you, can you tell me how many cubes do I have? What is the first step we should do? As you all know, first thing we should do, we should count groups of tens. Let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this is the first group. Let's take the red color and let's make a circle. Okay, let's find the other group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this is my second group of 10. So, let me write the number of groups. This is group 1, this is the second group, and this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is the third group. How many more do I have than these three groups of tens? One, two, and three. Excellent. So, if I asked you, can you write the number that represents these cubes? You will say, yes, teacher, of course. Let's write it. Three tens give me 30. Right? That's good. And how many more do I have? 3. So 30 plus 3 give me 33. Is it clear? I think it's clear. Now, what is 10 and what is 1? What is regrouping? This is a very important question if you want to understand the lesson of today. What is 10? I will tell you. Look here again. When I find 10 cubes together, I put the circuit around them, so that means I have one group of 10. How to, to turn this one group of one of these small pieces into a 10. I will show you. Look what we will do. We will select them and I will fix them. Do you see this huge shape? This shape is 10. This shape is 10. So now I will turn all the small cubes into tens. Look. As you can see, I have one, two, three tens. So did you see the difference between tens and between group of tens? Group of tens, I have some cubes and I count them to ten. Then I put a circle around them. This is the group of tens. But what about tens? Tens is to put all the cubes, the small cubes together to make a 10. So, again, look, this is my cubes. This is a group of 10. I took this group of 10, I regroup it together to get a 10. So, in this case, these small cubes, what's the name of these small cubes? Each one of them, what's the name of it? The name of the small cube is ones. So, if I select all the small ones and I regroup them together, I get a 10. Can you see? Now I want to delete these stuff. Just give me a second. 
we don't need them anymore because now we know what's the meaning of tens, ones, and we group. Okay. So now, if I tell you, can you tell me what is the number that represents this shape? And I am sure that you all can answer this question. First, let's count the tens. How many tens do we have? One, two, three. So let's write three. Let's take another color. I didn't like this color. Okay. Now, how many ones do I have? One, two, three. Also three. That's good. So the answer is 33. Okay, let's have another question. Let's delete them and we will have another question. Okay. If I told you, I have, uh, let's see, I have many ones here, like this. And like this, exactly. Now, who can tell me how many tens and how many ones do I have? First, we should find the tens. How do we find tens? First, we create group of tens, then we regroup these small ones into a big ten. And then I can count how many tens I have and how many more is left. Let's do it together and you will see it's very easy. This is the first ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the first ten. Let's go to the second ten. And this is the second ten. The third ten. Yeah. What about this? Yes, exactly. Now I have four tens. What about these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't put them together because they are not a ten. So I have one, two, three, four tens. And what is left? How many ones do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So who can tell me what is the number up here? Who can tell me? Think about it, it's very easy. First, we will count the tens, one, two, three, four. So let's write four. Second, we will count the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, 47. Excellent, everybody. Now, if I tell you let me just clean the board. Okay. If I tell you that I have this kinds of ones, for example. Let's say something like this. Okay, and I told you that I have, I have uh, 25 ones, so how many tens do I have, and how many ones. Okay. How can we solve it? Again, let's pick the colors and let's work together. Here we have 25 ones. How did I know? Because I count these small cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I have 25 cubes. Let's say 25 cubes. 
how many tens do I have from these cubes? Let's see how many tens do we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's make a circle around it. This is my first pen. Again here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, this is my second one. And how many left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's cool. So now, let me regroup them together. So this is the first 10. I will regroup them. This is the second 10. And I will regroup them. And then, this is my ones. I will put them down here. So, now I have a 25 cubes. How many tens do I have here? 1 and 2. So, I will write 2 tens. And how many? And how many is left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5 ones. So, what is the whole number now? Again, what is the whole number? If I have 2 tens and 5 ones, 2 tens will give me 20 plus 5 will give me 25. So the answer is 25.